not as close as we could be, but we don't see each other very often. We don't get the opportunity to really talk about anything. I mean, I'm sure we could be closer, but as she gets older, it's, it's a lot. Um, maybe we'll be closer in time. We don't really do any of the normal things that most sisters do together. I'm more focused on her doing good in school so she could go to college and get a good job and not be like me struggling and trying to find work. I just get mad at her lifestyle. Like she just doesn't like fulfill her potential and it makes me really, really mad. <laughs> I'm like 11 years younger and I'm like always like on the game. Like, okay, I could do this, this, this to make me better. And I just feel like she doesn't try. So that's when I'm like, she's on her own. You were going to stare at each other for four minutes. So what were you thinking about? I was just looking at her face, honestly. I noticed her bottom eyelashes are really long. <laughs> Did it make you think of any memories? Yeah, when she was a baby, and I used to like rock her, and looking at her face like that. I don't know if like 18 years, I don't know if I looked at her that long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, different mindsets, I'm telling you. <laughs> now, you were going to hug each other for four minutes. Oh my Hug god. Her for four minutes. <laughs> okay. Hug me for four minutes. <laughs> I don't think we've hugged that long in I don't, forever. I was just thinking about the fact that I literally have not hugged her in forever. <laughs> and it was like not normal. I'd rather just not hug her, especially. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, cliche sibling don't want to, like, be near each other. It's pretty Those real. the age thing. Yeah. Maybe in 11 years she'll want to hug me. How did it feel for you? Because if you haven't hugged her... It felt her great. I love hugs. I was thinking the next time I'm going to hug her is when we send her off to college. That's is that true. soon? That's probably true. <laughs> You'll have five minutes to write out compliments for the other person. You're fun to go on adventures with. Thank you. I really like your hair that color and length. It's natural, but thanks. Um, you have really nice eyelashes. I'm proud of the young woman you are becoming, and I'm proud to call you my sister. Thanks. I love the way you are passionate about following your dreams, and I hope they all come true. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh my god. Stop. <laughs> your hair color is always edgy in a good way. Thanks. Thank you for being such an amazing aunt Ariana. Did I finish? Oh, you have a lot of potential. Thanks. I want you to be successful and make a better life for yourself than I did. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> it's usually the other way around. I think it has to do with the fact that <laughs> I had a fight with my mom the other day about like doing stuff like this, and the fact that she said that like, it was like a good thing and not a negative thing. Oh, stop. Yeah. <laughs> I made her cry. I don't think I ever made her cry. I got through to it. Like, it's affecting her somehow, right? It's working. Did you feel like the exercise changed something for you? I think it felt good. Yeah. Got a few things off my chest, I guess. Yeah. And what, what some of the best things about being sisters are now? <laughs> I think just the bond. You know, the fact that you always yeah. have a best friend, regardless of who's in your life, who's out of your life, where you are in life. Like, you always have a sister. I just want to see you follow your dreams, be successful I'm with trying. a happy, healthy, beautiful life. <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to her now? I love you. 
<laughs> Love you too. <laughs>